Near London's art district of Chelsea is a small cafe where painters come not for something to eat or drink, but for the finishing touch to their pictures. In a room at the back, Mr. Tainus, the proprietor, runs a second business. He's the man who makes many of the frames that you see in famous art exhibitions. Choosing the pattern's quite a performance. What suits a landscape, for instance, wouldn't be right for a still life. Ah, that's the one. Mr. Tainers promises to have the new frame ready as soon as possible. The picture is measured up and the carpenter is told exactly what is wanted. Artists are very particular customers. If you wonder how they get the corners of frames to fit so snugly, here's the answer. The mitre cutting saw makes joints without tears. The edges are then trimmed and smoothed on the shooting block. Now we'll see how accurate the cutting was. Yes, the two edges fit tightly together. After a nail or two has been hammered in, the joints will be complete and the frame ready for the next operation. So much for the foundation of the frame. Now we'll see how the ornament gets onto it. All those little twiddly bits that'll show up the picture to the best advantage. Come into the plaster room and watch the mouldings being made by another of the assistants. The frame begins to take shape as the beading is fixed on. Meanwhile, the moulder is making the corner pieces ready to be stuck into place. Now the making is completed, all that remains is to give the frame a coat of paint, or rather lacquer, ready for the final gilding process. This painter can truly say that his work is hung in exhibitions more often than most artists. Only the finishing touch remains to be done. A gun is needed for this, but only the gun of the sprayer that puts the final gilt on the frame. You have to have a steady eye for this or you'll overshoot the mark. The frame is finished on time and Mr. Tainus puts in the picture and fixes it down ready to be handed over to his customer. So when you next admire the paintings at an art gallery, remember the man who makes the frame that makes the picture.